Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and I post weekly crafting and cooking videos here on YouTube. This week I'm back with another one of my repurposing tutorials where I'm going to show you how to take a man's long sleeve shirt and turn it into an apron. Before we jump into the actual project, I wanted to take a quick second to remind you all to check out the Life Reimagined project. Remember that I initially mentioned it in this tutorial. It's basically a network of peers and mentors looking to help each other out to take that next big step in their lives, whatever that may be. Maybe you've had a business idea for years, but you just don't know how to go about launching it. You can go there and connect with all kinds of people that will help you get the information that you need. You can watch this video as well for more information on the Life Reimagined project. And now we'll start with the supplies we'll need and jump right into making our apron. For the supplies, you'll need one long sleeve men's shirt, a pair of scissors, some thread, some pins, and of course, a sewing machine. To cut your shirt, I want you to lay it front with the button side up. You wanna measure, if it has a pocket, you wanna line it up right underneath that we don't want the pocket involved so we're just going to draw a line right across and do it all the way over and then take your pair of scissors and cut it along the line that you marked cutting through only one layer of the shirt and you take your scissors and just cut down the side seams on both sides of that front half and that's the piece that we'll be using for our apron going through both layers of the shirt I want you to cut off one arm completely going right around the seam of the armhole and then you're going to lay the arm in front of you and also remove the cuff as well. We won't be using that here. Now you see the fold there and then this is where the actual seam is. So I want you to take the part that's continuous that just has a fold of the arm and then you're going to line up your ruler right to the right of where the button is. You don't want that in your way. Just line it up as best as you can and you're going to slice that piece off. And this piece will be cutting it in half again in order to create the two strips that will be our waist ties for the apron. So now you can open up this piece and then slice it right down the center on the fold to create your two strips. I like to work with fabric that has clean edges so I'll just stack them up one on top of the other and just grab your ruler and even off that end that's a little bit uneven because of the shirt. So just slice that and then repeat the same thing on the other side so you have two nice strips to work with. To create our strips, take one of your strips with the pretty side of the fabric facing down and you're going to fold it in half lengthwise. Then open it up and bring in one edge towards that center fold mark and bring the top one down as well and then you're going to refold the whole thing in half. And I'm just showing you here but you want to take this to your ironing board and actually press this down. Now after you have them both done in that manner, remember, fold in half first, then fold both sides in, and then fold it on itself again. Now we don't have any raw edges exposed, so we're actually going to tuck in the ends right now so that we can go to the sewing machine. So just fold that end in a little bit, like that. Not, it doesn't have to be a set amount, you just want to be consistent in your strips. Then you fold it right back down that center line, and that's going to conceal those raw edges in the center. Put a pin there, then you're going to go to your sewing machine and with a straight stitch, you're going to stitch right along there where the opening was to keep that strip nice and close. That's the fold and that's where your stitching should be. And you can see on the end here, we don't have any raw edges showing. Do that to both your strips and set that aside. Now for the apron, the bottom part of this shirt is open, so I'll put a pin here just to hold it closed so I can work with it. The bottom of the shirt is already hemmed for you, you just need to do the sides. So flip it so that the pretty side of the shirt is facing down. Then we're going to turn in the side under about one quarter of an inch. And then we're going to do the same thing again. If you have an iron, of course, remember to press. Pin that in place and you're going to stitch it down. Now at the top part where we need to make the waistband, you want to have at least two inches from where the first button is. And that's so we have space to hem it. So turn it so that the pretty side again is facing down and turn that edge in about one quarter of an inch and press it well so it lays as flat as possible for you. Like you see here, now what we're going to do is fold it over again. And I don't want to go into where the button is because then you're going to have problems stitching that down. So I'll just fold it again till right before that button is and that should give me enough space to hem it and to run my waistband. So I pin that in place. And I'm going to go grab one of my waistbands and I'm just going to tuck it into the ends about half of an inch or three quarters of an inch in. You want to put it right there where you want it, grab a pin so it can hold in place and then you're actually going to be going to your sewing machine and stitching that down and that's going to hold it inside the waistband for you. 
So you're going to go and right here, you're going to backstitch forward and back to secure that waistband in and then go all the way down the edge to seal down the hem. And there it is. To create my pockets, I'm starting off with two pieces of fabric that measure six inches by six inches. And then to create the pockets, I'm going to take one of them. You can actually do this with both fabrics together, but I'll start off with one, fold it in half, then the top part is going to be stay the same. It's just going to be flat for the opening of the pocket. I'm going to turn it over so I can do a curved edge on the bottom. Simply grab your scissors and just curve it around. It doesn't have to be perfect or marked. And then you're going to repeat the same thing to the other one. You can stack them up so that it comes out symmetrical. Fold under the edges towards the ugly side about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And at the top, you want to do that twice to create a simple hem. So fold it under and then under again about a quarter of an inch. Stitch that top edge down because that's going to remain open. Then you're going to put it where you want it and stitch all the way around the pocket, remembering to backstitch at the beginning and at the ends so you get some nice cute pockets. And that's it. All done. Now that we've completed our cute little half apron, I want to give you all the opportunity to enter my latest giveaway. What I want you to do is basically repurpose or reimagine what's left over from the shirt. For this little half apron, we only use sec one section of the front of the shirt, so you still have a lot of fabric there to be as creative and as original as you can be. One lucky winner will then be selected to receive a bundle of fabric that I'm going to put together just for you. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is either email me a picture of the completed craft project, you can post it to my Facebook page, or you can even post a video response to this video if you know how to do that below.